Laptop. Check. Notebook. Double check. Music. Triple check. Oh, wait, hold on. We were doing so well. Would have been really cool if it worked. Do you want to just use my phone? No, I am not listening to your Spotify. I don't feel like being depressed. Hold on. That's more like it. You know the reason why I listen to sad, depressing music is because it helps me focus. Well, you've been staring at a screen for three months. If we're working together, we have to compromise. That's fair, seeing as it's my story and my house and you're the one helping me out. I guess we can do your music. Imagine this. Our protagonist, Charlie, enters the lush forest of Everlorn. Okay, I'm there. She's wearing a dress and walking with her trusty wooden staff. Sexy. She walks like a ghost, one with nature. When we last saw Charlie, she defeated her sworn enemy, the warrior Princess Evelyn. Their conflict spanned so many years, it felt like forever since they were close allies and friends, always by each other's side. Charlie had to flee and leave Evelyn for dead. They've been apart ever since. Now here Charlie is, venturing into the unknown. Whoa. And that's where I've been stuck. Until now. Oh, I'm so excited to see what you've done! It's been so long. Sorry, story time. I'll calm down. Charlie stops. She hesitates. She looks back. And she says, Evelyn, I gotta come back. Evelyn, I'm sorry I let you down. I gotta come back and get my friend. I'm sorry. Go, Charlie! Evelyn, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm coming back. And that's where we're at, with, you know, a lot more dialogue and description and thought poured into it. So, the new ending is... she goes back? Yeah, so originally she killed Evelyn and was exiled, having saved the land of Everlorn at a great personal cost. But now she gets to reunite with her. That's the idea. She doesn't have to be alone. It doesn't have to end this way. Can I suggest something? Absolutely. You okay? Yeah. Charlie, you came back for me. Wouldn't she have already said this? I'm paraphrasing calm down. As I was saying... Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did. What we both did. I should have never, I should have never left you. I should have never followed in my father's footsteps. It pushed you away. We can both get out of here together. Together. Whoa, wait. You want them to kiss? I think it's the feminist thing to do. Want to know an easy way to pass the Bechdel test? No. Men. But seriously, I consider it. The way you've been describing these two characters the last couple of days... It's changed. You're describing love. I don't know... Hey, it's your story, not mine. I'm just glad you worked out an ending. Me too. 
I'll think on it. When I've got the scene down, I'll shape the emotion of the dialogue with you. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm good at. Hey, you okay? Uh, you don't have to tell me, but, um, are you still planning on killing yourself at the end of the month? I know I shouldn't say stuff like, I'll stop you, or I'll miss you, cause, cause that's not fair, but, um, I just, I just want to know. I don't, I don't know. Have things changed? Sure. But have I changed? That's the bigger question. Something, something weird happened. I, I don't know, Finn. I thought us going out would have helped. It, it did. It's just that it's something, something feels different. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do. Okay. Y yeah, Andrea. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Before you ask, I already ate. Stone, um, I heard the new scene with Bex. It's going well? Yeah, it's it's going pretty well. I think it looks great. Bex is doing a great job. That's great to hear, Stone. Yeah. There is something we should tell you. We went to see Finn. What? Well, we kind of ran into his girlfriend instead. Um, she was not happy with us. Well, yeah, if you invaded their space like that, he's going to be even more mad at me. Well, I, I don't think she's planning on telling him. What? Andrea, she's, you know, how... Andrea, she's, you know, a lot of great qualities, but, you know, she's an evil, controlling bitch. What? She just thinks that she knows what's best for Finn, better than he knows himself. Oh, that's... Wrong? Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Um, You don't have to say it. We've been overdoing it. Well, yeah, but I know it's because you're scared for me. I get that now. I love you guys. We love you. Most of the time. Do you want to watch Bex's uh, reel? Stony? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I didn't... I didn't stop you. I'm sorry I didn't do anything to to change it. I, I thought that maybe we could we could change this. I thought that maybe we could do, be different. Maybe we could start over. I don't know how to not want to. Maybe, maybe, well, maybe we don't we don't have to die. Maybe we could just don't take my hand. Take my hand. Finn. Finn. Are you okay? What happened? Andy... I don't want to feel like this anymore. I think we both know where that leads. I'm a stone. All the times I've been lonely never seem to let go 
There are times when I'm trying, yeah, I guess I don't know. In the shadow of dreams that you once had, they're now out of reach. Standing alone in the shower, counting seconds every minute of the hour. These thoughts are raining on me. So many days going by, never seem to move on.